bought my GTX 970 super clocked back in 2014 of November 1st and, and the card has been really well for me it, it worked really well and performed very well in games I was very happy especially if having four gigabytes of VRAM then it came to find out I came to find out that it wasn't actually four it was actually like 3.5 it is initially four but there was only 3.5 really usable kind of because the other 512 was kind of slow so they didn't really use it that much or rarely but after about 10 11 months I started having issues with my card and I had to send it back to EVGA and ever since then it's been really a downhill uh, on that so I've, I've sent it back I received another one uh, that one had some issues where the, the one of the fans stopped working and the other sent it back and they sent me back another one which would be my third one which actually crashed in games just like the first one did even at stock clock so they, they decided to do a cross ship and sent me another one which I actually have received last week I haven't opened it up it's still in the package it's still sealed and everything like that but at this point I really got a little fed up of it and you know I, I decided to just go and just do something else you know and I decided to purchase Yes, guys, I, damn it, <laughs> I went ahead and I bought the GTX 980 Ti Classified uh, from EVGA. Why would you go with EVGA if you see having so many issues with it, uh, with, with the 970? Well, I've had the 680 before and that performed very well for me and everything was fine. I had that for, I don't know how long, I forgot, but I've had it for a great amount of time and it worked very well for me. And I do love their customer service. EVGA's customer service is pretty good. They're nice. They're cool people. I just hit the camera. That's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, they're really cool and nice people. Uh, and, you know, th their warranty is pretty good. Uh, especially if it comes down to a second hand. This is not second hand. This is brand new. No, I, I just decided to go with another card. And so far, it's been performing for me very well. Oh, damn it! No, I've had no issues with the card so far, uh, and, and it's been performing very, very well. I, I would kind of recommend to a lot of people, I guess from this day on, if you're going to go and get a 970, maybe go for the Super Super Clock or the For the Win. The, the reason why I say to go for Super Super Clock or a For the Win, because those cards seems to pump, just have a little bit more build quality to them. So uh, there's more beefy VRM, things are probably taken a final look at. And those are the cards I recommend. I don't know if I would have recommended Super Clock based on my personal experience. Look, if you have a 970 Super Clock and everything is fine for you, you've had the card for until now, you bought it since release, you never had a problem, that's great for you. But for me personally, I can't really recommend that version of the card. I'm gonna recommend the Super Super Clock or the Further Win. I recommend you guys pick those cards up instead, especially since they came down in price. It's like, three, I, I, for the Super Clock, I paid $350 for my Super Clock. And they have to further win for $350 or 40 bucks. So I definitely recommend that you guys go and get those versions instead of the further win or the super super clock, the SSC. So yeah, I know I did say how I wanted to wait for Pascal to come out, but that's obviously not gonna happen. I just got tired of it. I was I guess maybe a part of me was actually just looking for an excuse to upgrade and get something else. Uh, but you know, I was definitely still initially thinking about getting two of those cars, but I was like, ah, I don't know. Even though um, it would, it would kind of two super two 970s would definitely pair up to a 980 Ti, maybe even then some. But then you know, there's other things that bother me, like uh, 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM versus six, uh, and and some games won't actually take advantage of SLI. You can have a lot of problems with it, and this is why a lot of people would recommend that you upgrade to a higher end GPU, and then you, you can SLI it. Ugh. But the bank, in, the bank, the wallet said no. So I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm definitely happy with this card. It is a monster. And I'm going to get into reasons as, as to why I actually picked up the classified version rather than maybe a reference. Because I was actually looking for a reference. Technically, it was too expensive. They didn't want to weigh my money. So I was like, nah, that's not going to work for me, sir. So I, I definitely went ahead and picked up the, S, this, the, the classified. And I'm going to be doing some reviews and some performance stuff on there about the card, about both of them. So I have about a couple days 
I have until like Tuesday to really do some reviews on the uh, the 970 because I have two of them now temporarily. EVGA gave me 45 days to return the car, but I'm gonna return them on Tuesday so that they don't charge me mad money. The bank, the water already said no, so I can't. I just can't do it. Either way, I'm still very happy that I got this. I know I wanted to wait for Pascal, like I said again, but I. Uh, it just it happened because the, the cards it just gave me issues. And I was like, might as well just go up to the big bad boy. They, they're gonna take really good care of it. They're gonna put really high quality components. There is no coil wine on this card. I can't hear any coil wine. So it's, it's definitely, they definitely took care of that. Obviously, I don't know if they ate those cards. No, they're likely not gonna have it because they're so expensive. They gotta put high quality, especially in the classified versions of them since they're not referenced. The PCB is in reference. 14 phases, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I did really want it to wait for the Pascal to come out, then to go ahead and pick that up. But that's like, it's so close, but it's... The, the 970, man! It, it's that, I, I, I would've waited. Guys, you know this, I would've waited. I have my fourth card now. I haven't opened it up. What if I open that fourth card up and it's got given issues also? I'm not overclocking it. I didn't overclock the third one that I got. Uh, you know, it, it started crashing in games. Uh, so it wasn't, I think it, it has something to do with the power delivery. This is my theory, all right? I think it might have something to do with the power delivery in the card. Because every time I'm playing, the card would just, the screen would just go out. And it's, it's just got a black screen. And you can hear the game, I can move around and stuff. But the screen just goes out, I don't know. Maybe, but maybe it's not the power delivery, maybe it's something else. I have no idea uh, what, what it could really be. I, I got a 980 Ti now, I'm very happy with this. Uh, the next card that I'm gonna be looking at would be, uh, what's, the, what's half the Pascal? The, the, the Voltex? Voltron or something? I don't, I don't know what they're calling it. Uh, that'll be the next card I'm probably gonna look into, unless they bring out, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stay broke. I can't do this, God. I just can't do it. The 1080 Ti might be something to look towards, depending on how the performance yields. So, yes. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely go ahead and, and hit stuff uh, on the page, uh, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.